Selling on Amazon is an art, which does require a tool to do so, and that tool is Helium 10. And this is by far the most powerful Amazon selling software that is out there on the market in 2022. And in today's video, we're gonna be going through the entire suite together. I'm gonna to be giving you a full tutorial from zero all the way to 100. We're gonna be going through product research, keyword optimization, everything that there is to know when it comes to your Amazon selling journey. So definitely want you to stick around for that. Also, I do highly encourage you guys to use the link in the description down below in order to get 50% off. Don't be a sucker and pay the full price. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So buckle up, this will be a lengthy one and rest assured you're not going to find this anywhere else besides my channel. So I do highly encourage you guys to stay till the very end and by the end you should be a subject matter expert when it comes to navigating through Helium 10, the most powerful Amazon selling tool that is out there on the market today. So you're seeing here there is a lot to cover starting off with the Chrome extension and then we're going to transition over to the software suite. So let's not waste any more time and get started. So the main purpose purpose of having these Amazon selling tools is to find a product that is actually feasible to go into, right? You don't want to be selling products that are high in demand with high competition because you're not going to have a chance to actually compete with these other products. So let's say right now we're doing our product research and we're interested in analyzing table pieces. So let's go ahead, type in table pieces and you do want to ensure that you have the main keyword indicated on there considering you're going to see here all these different options some people may choose to search for decor for dining room or for a graduation for a wedding or for a baby shower right so when you are doing your product research it is crucial that you do have the main keyword selected on there so let's just go ahead and type in table pieces and then we're going to be able to go through some of these other listings by opening up our Chrome extension here. And the first tool I'm gonna to introduce you to is the X-Ray Amazon product research tool. So right now we're gonna be able to open this up in which we're gonna have access to seeing all the metrics and analytics for every single listing on Amazon in terms of its revenue. Uh, we have sales graph, the price, the brand. So let's move this over here. And we're seeing, for example, this particular modern dining table set for four is going for 199 and then we're seeing here the revenue is roughly 37,000 best sellers rank we're seeing seller country region so this in fact is a chinese seller and then if we move over here so we're seeing what the fba fees are roughly 64 dollars and 52 cents now you're thinking this is a lot considering something the size of this dining set, right? You can imagine if it's sitting in the fulfillment center, right? It does take up a lot of storage. And then with the shipping cost and everything, right? This is a relatively uh, large item, which is why the FBA fees are high. But if we are gonna be selling it for 199, there is still margin to work with. And then we're seeing there's only one seller. The rating is 3.8 and that gives us a way to improve on this particular product in which we're going to have access to going through all of the reviews. So we're going to do that afterwards. And then we're seeing the review count is only 17, right? So that actually does give us the potential to compete with the seller if we were to sell a dining table set as well. And then number of images, and then you have review velocity, um, the buy box category. So a lot of valuable information on here. And then when it comes to total revenue for table pieces, we're seeing 3.2 million. And then average revenue per listing is roughly 84,000. Average price for a table piece is 397. Average reviews, uh, 1600. And then over here, this is also a very valuable tool. So we're seeing here seven of the top 10 products have a revenue over $5,000. And then over here, seven of the top 10 products have under 75 reviews. So we definitely want to find a product, I would say under 200 reviews on average on the first page, because that will give us the opportunity to actually compete with these other sellers. So this is the x-ray product research tool very easy to navigate through it and then again 
the most important thing is you want to look at the revenue just like we have on here so we're seeing this listing for example it's generating just about 113,000 within the last 30 days so that's the x-ray tool and let's see what the next tool is and that is going to be the asin grabber so the asin grabber is when you are doing your PPC advertising, you're gonna be able to retrieve all of your competitors' ASINs and create a pay-per-click campaign that is gonna give you the opportunity to get ranked on the top of the first page through the sponsored listing. So I'm gonna show you down here what this is as soon as this does load up here. And you're seeing here, you're gonna be able to just simply retrieve all the ASINs of your competitors. And then when you do create a PPC campaign, which I do actually discuss in another video, unfortunately, that's just a whole video on its own. So I do highly encourage you guys to check that video out. Uh, you're gonna be able to compete with these other sellers for a top of the first page position, just like we're seeing on here, some of these sponsored listings, just like you're seeing on here. And every time someone were to click on one of these listings, they're gonna be charged whatever the highest bid is. Let's say for this particular keyword, table pieces, the highest bid is let's say a dollar and 10 cents. Every time someone will be clicking on that particular sponsored listing, they're gonna be charged whatever the highest bid is. So I would say once you do have a proof of concept, social proof, right? You have over 20 reviews, then I would definitely encourage you to double down on your sponsored listings. For example, this one, we're seeing this is a brand new listing, right? Uh, and they decided to sponsor it. This is also a tactic that you could use uh, in order to build up your initial reviews, right? Considering when you're starting off, you're not gonna have any reviews. So it's gonna be very difficult to encourage new customers to buy your product. Whereas for example, with this one, we're seeing 1800 reviews versus this one, five reviews or even 17 reviews, right? And then if we scroll down here, we just wanna analyze uh, on average what the review count is, right? So we're seeing 167. This one has 2,388. So this potentially could be a good product to go into considering this is featured on the first page and it only has three reviews, four reviews, and there's lots of room for improvement. So that's what the ASIN Grabber tool is used for. Let's go ahead and go to the next tool here which is the profitability calculator. So what we're gonna wanna do, let's go ahead and just select a listing. Let's go ahead and click on this one. And now we're gonna be able to calculate what their margins are. So let's click on this again over here, click on profitability calculator. And now it's gonna really break everything down in terms of all the costs and fees that are associated with selling a product. Uh, similar to this nature on Amazon. So you have two options here. You have FBA and FBM. FBA stands for fulfilled by Amazon. And pretty much what that means is you're gonna be shipping out your product to the Amazon warehouse in which they're gonna be taking care of all the fulfillment for you. Shipping, packing, customer service, returns, and everything else. Whereas with FBM, it's the seller's job to actually directly ship it to your buyer. So it's totally up to you which business model you go into. For this example, we will be focusing on FBA and you're seeing here uh, product specifications. So the price is 199 and then dimension. So you wanna make sure that you do have this embedded on here and you can get all this information from your supplier. Same with the weight and then size tier. This is small oversize. Unit manufacturing cost, $40, and then freight cost. So again, you wanna just make sure that you have all of the information embedded on there correctly. And then we're seeing here storage fees from January to September. It's gonna cost roughly $1.39 per unit. And then we're seeing October to December, it's $3.49. And then there's also a referral fee. Uh, duties, tariffs, other costs, right? So you wanna make sure that you do have the landed cost indicated on there. So you could just put it on here, let's say after the tariffs, the packaging, the logo design, everything, uh, essentially the landed cost, you wanna just indicate that on here. And that way you're really gonna be able to calculate your bottom line margin. And we're seeing right here, from January to September, the net is gonna be $61.09, whereas in October, $59.00. Uh, we're seeing margin 30%, whereas during the busiest time of the year, right, Q4, 29.5%. Um, 
and then ROI per unit, 82%, whereas in October, December, it's 77, 23. So this is a very good tool and this is a must right before you actually dive into a product you want to make sure that you're actually going to be making money right you don't want to be investing so much time into manufacturing a product only to find out that it's not profitable so this in fact is a very good tool to do so let's move on to the next tool here which is the inventory levels. So here you're gonna be able to monitor your competition and see exactly how many units they are selling on a daily basis, monthly basis, right? And we're seeing right now the stock is 59. So the way it works is you wanna just keep checking, I would say maybe check tomorrow or in a couple of days. And that way you're really gonna be able to figure out as to how many units this particular seller is actually selling on a daily basis, weekly basis, and even monthly basis. So pretty straightforward. And then down here, we're gonna be able to access review insights in which we're gonna be able to go through all of the reviews and see what it is people are most concerned about when it does come to a product of this nature, right? And we're seeing here the table looks good, but the chairs are not that great. They are not sturdy enough. I feel that if someone with more weight could fall, uh, overall, the price is very high. So you want to improve on all of the negative reviews in order to really manufacture a high quality product and bring that to the masses, which is going to allow you to surpass all these other sellers, right? So definitely want to go through all of the reviews, see which keywords people are actually searching for, what the main issue is when it does come to table pieces or so senior. In this example, uh, the table's good, but the chairs are not that great. They're not sturdy enough, right? So when you are reaching out to your supplier, you want to make sure that the chairs are in fact very sturdy. So this is pretty much it when it comes to review insights. Very good tool. And by the way, I just want to jump on to walmart.com. If you are looking to sell products on walmart.com, uh, you're going to be able to use Helium 10 as well. So let's say table pieces. And then we're going to be able to, same thing here, pull up the x-ray tool. And just like we did on Amazon earlier, you're going to have access to it. Uh, I'm not going to dive too deep into Walmart's marketplace. Uh, I just wanted to briefly show you that if you are interested in selling products on Walmart's marketplace, you're going to be able to do your product research with Helium 10 as well. Um, and you're seeing here, you have the average revenue in Walmart, average revenue for Amazon, average price and whatnot. And you're going to be able to go through all of these listings here. Also, I do want to touch upon the, let's go here. If we were to go on back to the x-ray tool and we're going to be able to go through a bunch of suppliers through Alibaba here. Let's just wait for this to load up. And there is going to be an option here, find suppliers on Alibaba. Although I do encourage you guys to try to stay away from Alibaba, considering that's where everyone is sourcing their products from. Uh, it's You still have that opportunity, but just keep in mind, just like we saw, there's a lot of Chinese sellers, just like we're seeing on here, that they themselves are sourcing these products directly to Amazon's warehouse, in which you're not going to have that competitive advantage over these other sellers, right? Because Think about it yourself, right? If they're doing, if they could do it themselves, why would they want someone else to do it for them? If that makes sense. So here, you're just going to be able to go through this. You could adjust the filter settings, price, minimum order quantity, vendor rating, and we're seeing some options here. This is coming from Turkey, China, India, right? A lot of good products that aren't just based in China, just like we saw in India and Turkey. So definitely, I would really recommend that you try to target other countries that are offering these goods. So pretty straightforward when it does come to the supplier database through Alibaba. And this is pretty much it when it does come to the Chrome extension. Also here, you do have a listing health score. So if we were to click over here, um, it's just going to give you a rating. So we're seeing here number of images, seven or more images. Main image background is not on a white background. So you definitely want to fix that. 
Uh, this is just a guideline when you are creating your own listing. You definitely want to follow this, right? And then reviews and rating, rating lower than 4.0. And lastly, if we do scroll down here, we're going to have this chart here and we're going to be able to see exactly when they started selling this product. So if we go over here, so we're seeing they actually started selling just about two months ago. April 11th of 2022. So this just goes to show that it's never too late to actually enter the Amazon world and start selling your product. So let's just double check here, see what their revenue is considering they've only been selling for two months, right? Let's open this up quickly. And we're seeing 37,000 within the last 30 days, right? Let's say you do decide to go into a dining table set. You wanna make sure that you could actually sell this throughout the entire annual year and that it's not just a patio set uh, for people's backyards that essentially that's only a seasonal product, right? So I believe this is for indoor, right? If I'm not mistaken, and you could easily sell this throughout the entire annual year. All right, so now I'm gonna walk you through the software suite. This is my affiliate account, so we're not gonna have access to all the instruments on here, but most of these tools and features, uh, you will have access in your Amazon Seller Central account regardless. So let's start off with the black box, which is over here, the Amazon product research. And by the way, this is what the dashboard is gonna look like. So as soon as you are logged in, all you're gonna wanna do is simply scroll down here and you're gonna have access to all these tools. And it's totally up to you whether or not you choose to connect your Amazon Seller Central account. You may or may not be comfortable sharing your financials with Helium 10, which is totally fine but this is still a really good tool that is gonna help you with your product research and optimizing all of your listings and your Amazon business. So let's start off with the black box tool. And this is the tool that's gonna help you do product research. And over here, you're gonna have option to select if you wanna search by product, keyword, competitors, niche, and I believe it was product targeting as well. Uh, for this example, let's just refer to products. Uh, the product research itself is a whole video on its own, but I'm briefly gonna show you how to navigate through this. So over here, we just wanna make sure that we do have our marketplace selected, whether you're choosing to sell in the US, Canada, Mexico, Europe, all these other countries. So just make sure that you do have your marketplace selected on there. And now we're gonna be able to embed some of the categories. So I do highly encourage you guys to select categories in which you will have that private label potential, right? For example, appliances, you're not gonna start manufacturing ovens and things like that. You already have the big names such as Samsung, LG, uh, that are already competing for these types of products. So let's go ahead. I would say arts, crafts, and sewing is a good one. Automotive, baby, beauty, and personal care, camera and photo products, clothing, shoes, and jewelry. Considering there's so many different variations, sizes, colors, stay away from that, especially if it is your first product. Uh, electronics is a good one. I would say health and household is a good one home and kitchen, industrial and scientific, kitchen and dining, office products, patio, lawn and garden, pet supplies, sports and outdoors, tools and home improvement and toys and games. So I'd say this is a good start. Now, when it comes to monthly revenue, you're gonna have a lot of these new sellers that are just fantasizing, thinking that they're gonna be cashing out millions in three and a half days, and they're putting all these like crazy numbers, right? So I would say just be reasonable, something that ultimately is gonna replace your nine to five. Let's say you're making roughly 3,000 or $4,000 at your nine to five job. I would say monthly revenue, just go ahead, put something around, let's say 5,500. And then max revenue, let's go ahead and put 12,000. 500 considering most people are just going to put a million dollars right on both ends and they're going to miss out on products in between this range so when it does come to price you want to make sure that you will have a sufficient profit margin you don't want to target let's say the low ticket items such as let's say toilet paper because the margin is going to be relatively low even though the percentages could be high right so i would say try to find a product that you're going to be able to list for at least 19.99 and then max you could say i don't know 249.99 and it also depends on your starting budget how much money you do 
have on hand when you are starting off your business. Those patio sets that I showed you earlier, you can imagine if every single one does cost roughly $60 to manufacture and you're gonna need roughly 200 of those or 500 units, that could add up, right? So definitely wanna keep that in mind. Review count, I would say under 300, right? So max 300, uh, making sure that you will have room to compete with, just like we saw earlier with the table pieces, right? Uh, a lot of the listings had under 100 reviews uh, and they were featured on the first page. So essentially that's the type of product that you wanna find. As for review rating, something that you're gonna be able to improve on. So I would say max 3.5 out of five stars. Shipping size tier, we could go ahead and select small standard size, large standard size, small oversize. Uh, so this is a good benchmark when you are starting off. Advanced filters, for those of you that are really keen on your analytics and things like that, you're gonna be able to embed more information. But I think what we have selected so far is a good start. So let's go ahead and click on search and see what kind of results are gonna show up. So right off the bat, we're seeing 200 plus products found. So we could just scroll through this or so seeing this particular product here quiet battery fan keeps dogs and cats cool with built-in thermometer so we're seeing it's going for this price monthly sales roughly 248 seven thousand dollars in monthly revenue and then the number of reviews 224 3.5 so a lot of room for improvement if we were to go into a product similar to this one let's keep going here Let's see if we could find something interesting, right? Let's see what this is. High country plastics, red, white, blue. And we're seeing $9,000. We're seeing only 105 reviews, 3.3. So you know what? Let's actually take a look, see what this is. This actually seems like an interesting product. Not sure what this is. High country plastics. So I guess this is for someone that owns a horse or a farm and ranch of some sort, right? So I'm not an expert when it comes to this field or industry, so I have no idea whether or not this is in demand or not, but we're seeing there are three other sellers selling this particular product. So it's your job to go out there and really know your industry inside out better than anyone else, right? So I always tell people that you can't open up a restaurant if you've never worked in a restaurant before. So similar idea when you are trying to source products, right? Steady the marketplace and make sure that you have a better understanding than anybody else, right? If you're simply going to outsource junk from China, you're not going to be running a successful Amazon business. So we could just keep going this list over here. A lot of interesting products. Um, you're gonna be able to just go through these. Uh, let's see what this, Pro Clean Basics. So I believe this is Amazon Basics product and they're just selling towels. So stay away from that, right? Especially white towels. It's gonna be very difficult to differentiate. And most likely if this is Amazon's brand, just because they have that strong brand recognition, the Amazon Basics brand, which is how they're able to actually uh, source these white towels and generate a high margin right and high revenues so if you're thinking of going into white towels most likely you're not going to be getting these types of results again because you don't have that amazon basics brand recognition let's keep going let's just see if we could find one other product here let's see what this is over here some sort of tape i believe uh, bird tech. So we're seeing there's a lot of different variations and whatnot. I'm not sure what this is used for exactly. Um, high temperature tape. So again, I'm not sure, but it, it was generating relatively well. Let's take a look here. $10,000, uh, only 44 reviews, right? So this is the black box tool and you're gonna be able to insert all those numbers and just go through the list, see if you could find something interesting and hopefully you're gonna be able to source a product with your own branding on it and start selling it on Amazon. So the next tool I wanna go through is the Trendster tool. So let's go ahead and open that up. And over here, this is also pretty straightforward. So what you're gonna be required to do is enter an ASIN and up to four phrases. And essentially it's just gonna give us the market analysis through Google Trends and such. So I'm gonna show you how this works here. So let's say ASIN, let's go back here. 
So for this particular uh, table set, let's just go ahead, retrieve the ASIN. So we want to copy that, go back here and over here, let's go ahead, type in table pieces, uh, table decor, and then you could put two, two more keywords, but I would say this is good enough. So let's go ahead and start the trendster. And now we're going to have a graph and it's going to tell us exactly when they started selling right and how well it's performing so we're seeing all these fluctuations here with the sales rank so at some time i believe during the summertime we're seeing that spring summer it's actually performing relatively well and then around the winter time uh, it's not doing so well and then over here interest over time so this is just worldwide but you could actually just go on google trends yourself um, and you're going to be able to analyze the demand, right? This is what people are searching for on Google. So definitely want to review that. And if we were to select by week, same idea here, right? So you're seeing that it's all over the place. We want to have something that's relatively consistent throughout the entire annual year. Let's go on year over here. So I would say this is this is a good potential, right? Especially considering this dining table set is indoor, right? You could have people interested in buying this throughout the entire year. So this could potentially be a good product to go into. Uh, I'm not suggesting you go into this. This is just purely an example, right? You're obviously going to be required to do a lot more research if you are interested in going into this niche. So that's the Trendster. Let's go on to the next tool over here, which is the magnet tool. And over here, we're going to be able to analyze all the relevant keywords. So let's say right now, if we were to search for table decor, and you do want to make sure that you have the most relevant keyword indicated on there, as I mentioned before, and right off the bat, we're seeing table decor, table decorations for party. And these are the backend keywords that you are going to want to use when you are creating your listings. This is going to help you with SEO and making sure that you have embedded all of the relevant keywords that is going to help your listing get ranked organically on the first page, considering 80% of sales do come from the first page. And if your listing is not in the first page, you're going to be losing on a lot of market share. So over here, we're seeing for table decor itself, uh, roughly 30,000 uh, search volume within the last 30 days. Also, again, very important. You do want to make sure you have your marketplace selected on there. Um, it's going to vary for every single marketplace. Here, you're going to have some other relevant keywords. Maybe this is also going to give you some product ideas. So definitely just want to go through this. And I would say you definitely want to narrow down with the highest uh, search volume. Right, so home decor, bathroom decor, fake plants could be a good product as well. Farmhouse decor, side table, housewarming gifts, right? So just go through this entire list and this should help you. Same with word frequency as well, right? Decorations, table, home, room, uh, artificial plants, right? So this is what people are searching for on Amazon. This is what people are interested in, right? You don't want to reinvent the wheel. You want to improve on what's already working. So this is the magnet tool, pretty straightforward. And over here, we're going to be using the Cerebro tool, reverse product lookup. So just by simply embedding the ASIN, we're going to be able to pull up some relevant keywords. So we're going to be able to see which keywords this particular listing has embedded onto their own listing on the back end. So you could put up to 10 different ASINs, right? So you could go back and go through all of your competitors, right? I would say go through the best seller, Amazon's choice, and the one that is generating the most revenue. So at least three ASINs, and then you want to just embed it on here. And over here, we're going to be able to see uh, the search volume for some of the relevant keywords that this particular listing is using. So we're seeing here dining table sets, uh, chair nook, uh, 406 searches, and we're seeing this one kitchen and dining room sets over 20,000 monthly searches, right? So same idea here. Uh, you could just go through these keywords and these also are the keywords that you are going to want to embed onto your backend uh, listing. So this is Cerebro, pretty straightforward here. And then we have the Frankenstein keyword processor tool. Let's go through that quickly. And over here, we're gonna be able 
to pretty much remove any duplicates. So considering on the backend keywords, we're only gonna be eligible to have roughly 250 bytes and you definitely wanna remove duplicates. So for example, uh, table set for kitchen, table set for backyard. And if we were to select uh, remove duplicates, it's gonna remove the table set that we have indicated on there. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we want to process that. Also, any ASINs and things like that, because when it does come to the backend keywords, you're not going to be allowed to have any ASINs. So over here, we're seeing it remove the duplicates for us. Table set for kitchen backyard. Total characters 30, and you're only going to be allowed to have 250 characters. So you do want to make sure that the keywords that you do have indicated on here have the highest search volume, right? So we saw that I believe it was kitchen and dining set had roughly 20,000 searches. So you definitely want to make sure that those keywords are embedded on here. So this is a very good tool. Uh, the keyword processor tool. They also have free solutions on Google that you could find, but it's just nice to have it on Helium's uh, platform. So let's get rid of this. Let's go on to scribbles. Here you're gonna be able to create your listing. Just do some rough work. You could also do this on a Word doc as well. It's totally up to you what you guys decide, but uh, Helium 10 was nice enough to actually um, give you the option to just create your listing on here and then you're gonna be able to import it or you could just do it manually just by cutting and pasting it. You can have your title, bullet points, um, you could have some emojis and whatnot, right? So definitely a very good tool, right? So I do highly encourage you guys to use this for those of you that are looking to create your listings. So this is the Scribbles tool. And now the index checker tool, let's go open this up here. You're gonna be able to see once your listing is already uploaded, right? You're gonna be able to see whether or not it got indexed properly onto Amazon's search engine. After all, Amazon is a search engine, right? People are on there searching for certain products and whatnot. So what we wanna do right now, we wanna go ahead, let's say for this particular example, let's go back, let's go with this one here. Let's say this were to be our product, right? So what we wanna do, we wanna go ahead and select this ASIN here, copy that. And right now we wanna go ahead, put the ASIN. And then here, let's say for our main keyword, which is table decor. And for this particular keyword, we wanna see whether or not our listing did in de get indexed for this particular keyword, right? When you're gonna be submitting all of the backend keywords and then including keywords onto your bullet points and your title, you wanna make sure that everything was fetched and synchronized properly. So right now we're gonna be able to check the keywords and here traditional index, field ASIN index. So traditional index is by the keyword itself. Field ASIN index is the ASIN itself, right? If someone were to just search by the ASIN, let's say we were to copy this, go on amazon.com, paste it on here, all departments, you're gonna see this listing and it was indexed on there properly. Same with the keyword that we had on there, right? And then when it comes to storefront index, the way you're gonna be able to check is by simply accessing the listing, going on to their storefront here. So I'm seeing here, this is ships from amazon.com. Uh, let's see here if we're going to be able to access the seller. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that. But let's go back here. Let's try to find a product that is actually being sold by a private seller. All right. So this is offered by a third party seller, just like we're seeing on here. So we want to access their storefront. And then this is the seller ID. So we want to just go ahead and retrieve this copy it and then paste it on here and it is a different asin so let's go back let's retrieve the asin put it on here and now we want to go ahead and click on check keywords so now we're seeing it did get indexed across the board 
by the search term, by the ASIN, and by the seller ID. So if someone were to search by the ASIN, by the seller ID, or by this keyword, they are gonna stumble upon this particular listing. So definitely once your listing is up and running, you wanna make sure that it was indexed properly, right? So this is the index checker, pretty straightforward, and you wanna make sure that you have all of your relevant keywords on there, not just the main keyword, right? All right, so now we're gonna go through the keyword tracker tool, which is essentially the product rank tracking. We're gonna be able to see exactly what certain keywords are being ranked for, for a particular product. So let's say for this particular example here, let's go ahead and retrieve the ASIN. Copy, and then we wanna add the product. Let's say table. core and then we want to make sure that we do have our marketplace selected on there start tracking let's go ahead and click on this and then we're seeing that the search volume is 30,000 competing products so there's over a hundred thousand um, products that we're going to be competing with when it does come to this keyword and then organic ranking uh, position for this keyword will appear here within one hour so you're gonna have to go back and check, but this is pretty straightforward, right? Again, this is a really good tool uh, that you're gonna be able to see whether or not a product is actually in demand and analyze its competition to really see if it's feasible for you to go into that particular product. Let's move on to the next tool here. So we're seeing this is the inventory protector coupon abuse prevention set limits on how many items can be purchased at a time by individuals so that you don't have your inventory sniped away during coupon promotion. So I'm not going to dive too deep into this, but this is still a good tool. Personally, uh, when I first started off and I was actually doing giveaways, um, which I don't encourage you guys to do right now because it is against Amazon TOS. I was just doing it three, four years ago uh, in order to build my initial reviews. And what happened was I offered a 98% coupon code and someone just went ahead and selected, I believe it was like 20 units instead of just one, right? So this tool actually prevents anyone from doing that. You're gonna be able to set a certain limit. You could also set this limit on your Seller Central account, but it's just good that Helium 10 was nice enough to offer this solution. Refund Genie locates your lost or damaged inventory that must be reimbursed by Amazon. Detailed reports are quickly generated so you can promptly collect what you are owed. This is also available on your Amazon Seller Central account. And then we have Misspellinator here. This is a misspellings checker. So a lot of the time you're going to have buyers searching for products and they're going to accidentally misspell certain keywords. So they might actually, I don't know, they might spell a table this way, right? Or table decor Asians and whatnot and if you go ahead and click on prepare it's going to fix everything for you right so let's go ahead and select all find misspellings and we're just going to have to wait for this to fully load up here and then it's going to show us that um, there are a few mistakes so let's just wait for this to load up and when you are putting in your backend search terms, it's very important that you actually put the right spelling of those keywords, right? Because that's the only way Amazon themselves is going to actually fetch um, all of those relevant keywords onto your listing. So if you're going to see that some people are actually misspelling your product, don't worry about it. Just make sure that you do have the correct uh, keyword indicated on there. So we're seeing over here, Amazon auto corrects, right? So again, don't worry about it. Just make sure that you have the correct keyword on there, right? Which is obviously in this spelling, even though you're seeing here, some people are spelling it this way. Sometimes what happens is if you're typing too fast, right? And you're not paying attention, that's also a possibility, right? So this is the misspellinator tool. So I do highly encourage you guys to take a look, right? And then if we were to go on to the next component, alerts, hijacker, and product monitoring. Uh, don't worry about this too much. Also, Amazon does have a tool that you're gonna be able to go through. If you're noticing that there are other sellers under your own listing, you're gonna be able to reach out to them. 
uh, and report them, right? And I do actually have a video on that on my channel, but that's just a whole video on its own. When it comes to Profits Financial Analytics Dashboard, this profit gives a bird's eye view on your Amazon business. So this is only if you connect your Seller Central account to the Helium 10 dashboard, right? It's not a must. This information, right? Your sales, your revenue, all of your financials are going to be indicated on your Amazon Seller Central account. So don't worry about that, right? Uh, it's totally up to you if you decide to connect your Seller Central account or not. Over here, we have a follow-up email automation tool. You're gonna be able to create an email sequence campaign, right? Let's say someone does purchase your product. Uh, it's in your best interest to actually convince them to leave a positive review. And if there are any issues with the product prior to them actually leaving a negative review, they're gonna be able to follow up with you via email. So this is very important as well. And you are gonna be required to connect your Seller Central account. You're gonna be able to create few campaigns, right? So let's say someone does purchase your product. You're going to wait maybe 24 hours. You're going to send them a thank you email for purchasing your product. And then after a few days, you're going to be able to, again, automatically, uh, it's going to send an email asking how the product is, if they're satisfied, and if they could go ahead and leave a review. And that's pretty much how it works. So you're going to be able to click over here and create your email sequence campaign. Uh, portals, landing, page builder, drive external traffic from social media. Personally, I haven't used this, um, but it's totally up to you if you want to go through this or not. FBA training, I believe this is a course, a freedom ticket course. So if you do enroll into the Helium 10 solution, you will have access to the full Amazon sellers training, right? So definitely want to check that out. If this is all new to you and you're not really familiar with selling on Amazon, definitely want to go ahead and go through this FBA training. So now we're going to go through the market tracker tool. Let's go ahead and open this up here. And we're going to be able to really analyze competition in, in terms of the marketplace as a whole. So let's go ahead and click on here. So considering we're looking to go into the table decorations industry, right? So we want to have that indicated on here and then you want to select your marketplace. If you want to add any keywords, you can, and then ASINs as well. So if we were to paste that ASIN that we had on there earlier, which is for this product over here, it does take a little bit of time to load up. So I'm not sure if we're going to get all the results, but pretty much uh, you're going to get a notification afterwards. If you were to click on here, you're going to see all of the results and it's going to really break everything down in terms of the market volume, uh, the market share, and whatnot, and then some of the keywords as well. Very similar to the other tools that I showed you, also the X-ray tool, right? So it's totally up to you if you decide to uh, use this tool or not. Atomic, this is for running PPC campaigns. Uh, this is just a whole video on its own when it comes to creating your PPC campaigns. I do have that on my channel, so I do encourage you to check that out. And then we have the listing analyzer here in which you're going to be able to really look at some of your competitors listings and see ways as to how you're going to be able to improve. So let's go ahead, paste the ASIN over here, and we're going to see the listing score for this particular listing. We're seeing here 8.67 out of 10, uh, but it's going to give us a lot more information on here. So we're seeing here 8.6 out of 10 seller country, USA, the rating review count, age so how long they've been selling so this product's been on amazon for what is it a year and a half now right and then monthly sales monthly revenue right so you're going to be able to put all the asins there and then see as to how you're going to be able to actually improve on your listing because your ultimate objective is to have a listing quality score of 10 out of 10 right so you're going to be able to go through this we're seeing some market analysis is included on here as well. Very similar to the x-ray tool that I showed you in the very beginning, right? And then we have total search volume uh, and whatnot. So you're gonna be able to go through this. So again, a very good tool. Inventory management, supply chain logistics, uh, so based on your sales velocity, it's going to give you reminders as to when you should actually replenish your inventory and order a new batch and ship it to the fulfillment center. 
Uh, the Seller Central account on Amazon does have this feature as well, so it's totally up to you if you wanna go ahead and use this. Market feedback, gain real market feedback from your target audience using audiences easy to use poll builder. Personally, I haven't used this tool, but you're more than welcome to look into it. Uh, they do have this new listing builder. Uh, I believe it is very similar to what I showed you earlier. It was under scribbles, right? So you're gonna be able to just create your own listing. And again, I do cover that in a whole other video. So I encourage you guys to check it out. Over here is just Amazon attribution off Amazon advertising analysis. Understand the sales impact of your off Amazon marketing efforts. Um, so let's say you do have a TikTok account and you actually direct traffic from your social media onto your Amazon listing. So you're gonna be able to track all of the analytics for that as well. And that's pretty much it. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm really gonna appreciate it. And again, make sure to use the link in the description down below in order to get that significant discount. Definitely don't want you paying the full price. And this is it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.